Well, we're here at Joseph Eccles Hall after the last match of the 2013 Spartan Classic. Spartans lost to Charlotte on Thursday 3-0, but they came back and beat Bethune-Cookman on Friday 3-0, and then beat UMS 3-0 on Saturday night tonight to cap the tournament. We're here now with sophomore Jessica Johnson. And Jessica, you guys kind of had a lot of airs there in that first match against Charlotte. You know, a lot of unforced airs. I think it's like 30 altogether, just hitting airs alone. Um, and it, 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 was, it should have been a closer match if it hadn't been for that. And you guys came back and you really kind of cleaned those airs up in the last two matches. Yeah, we did. I think we just really, like, had a really big talk on Thursday after the game and said that we're making too many errors. We need to make sure we don't make that many errors. Because it's hard to win when you don't, when you keep making up the errors. It's hard to, like, you're kind of kicking yourself a little bit. Like, we just had to stop making errors. I think we just had to make really good ourselves for the next few games to make sure we did and you did that, obviously, you hit well against Bethune, hit well against UMES tonight. And those are kind of key. Obviously, Charlotte's in the Conference USA. They're a good opponent. It's tough to measure yourself against them. But you can measure yourself against schools that are in your league. And you guys feel like you did well. I mean, obviously, you did well because you won 3 nothing. But how do you guys feel like you performed against these schools like UMES, Bethune, Cookman, UMES, who beat you guys twice last year? <laughs> I think we, like, made ourselves known in the conference, kind of, because we just knew that since these are our conference teams, even though it did count towards the conference, we knew we had to do well to like put our name out for the conference play. So especially with UBS because we made it losing to them seven times last year, so we knew we had to come out strong and make sure we put up one today. And that's probably a big thing too. Obviously, you just still got to play them two more times, and this doesn't even count. It's just yeah. an overall win. But it must be nice to kind of get a little bit of revenge, you could say, you know, after they beat you twice last year, and they beat you late when you could have had the first place in the North. So I guess it kind of felt good for you guys to come in tonight and take care of them again. Yeah, definitely. It was definitely nice to finally be able to know that we can keep it in this And a lot, too, we noticed this uh, this weekend, it was a different player stepping up. Oda stepped up tonight. You stepped up uh, last two nights. Coralie really stepped up tonight. You had some other hitters. You know, it was kind of like a... It was a bunch of different players contributing. I think that's what you guys need the most right now. Yeah, that definitely helped out, not having the same person every single time. Because if it was like that, then teams would kind of pick up on it. So it's good that we have more than one player that's always stepping up. So it's good to, like, for our team again, so it doesn't other teams not stop us. We're now here with head coach Brandon Duvall. And coach, I talked with Jessica just a little bit ago. You know, she said, obviously, the, the airs against uh, Charlotte on Thursday are really killing you guys. I and mean, we gave more than a set's worth of points just on hitting airs alone. You guys really kind of cleaned that up against Bethune and UMES and really got your offense going. Yeah, the you know the things we've been working on have been very successful as we, we've focused a lot on serving, a lot on passing, um, defense and things like that. And I thought even against Charlotte, those things did really well. What we were exposed on was, was the hitting and, and blocking, you know, the tech, technical aspect of things. And, you know, we just got to get better at that. Charlotte wasn't going to cut us a break. They weren't going to make the errors that we were making. So, you know, we were, we were either going to win the game off of playing excellent volleyball or we were going to lose the game because we were making too many errors and we ended up losing it. But as the weekend went on, we cleaned that up. Yeah. I think you saw today, you really saw, especially against um, you know, UMES tonight, the film last night, you know, teams, the caliber that you're going to be facing in the conference later on, you saw players step up. You know, Jessica and Angie really stepped up on on, on Friday against Yumia uh, uh, Bethune. Yeah. Kind of basically saved you guys there. Um, you know, tonight Goda did, Coralai did, and that's good for you guys to see different players coming in their own. So that way, it's not just one or two players, kind of a, how it had been earlier. Right. We're I think we're well balanced. Um, you know, the unsung heroes like Darcy setting, Noel digging balls, Adriana in the backcourt, and even Alex did a great job back there as well. Um, you know, the stats are. You know, there's no stats for passing and there's really not much stats for you know even though Darcy gets an assist for a kill she those girls did a fantastic job but it, you know the ones that are going to get recognized are the ones who clearly like you said Jess and Angie who pulled us out of you know we were down almost in every single set it felt like and those girls just stayed steady 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 and going into the night I knew UMES would know who our top players are and it's great to know that our, then our middles are going to step up and then maybe hopefully we'll have some new people step up the next time we play. So we're, I think we're as, ba as balanced as we've ever been. Um, we don't have that one go-to player that's dominating every time, but as a team, we're playing pretty good volleyball. Yeah, and you talked about you know, all those players stepping up, and I thought the big key was you know, players like Jessica and Angie yesterday when they stepped up is against a team like Bethune, who this is a team you're going to see in the MEAC. Mm -hmm. you know, they were down there, I mean, down 11 points, I think it was the first or second set. You know, it's like, uh-oh, this is going to go to four sets, and right. you guys made a comeback. So that, Bodes well for once you get in the conference season. Like, hey, we've 
we know we can handle these type of teams. We did it before, we can do it again. It's the character of our team, which is great because you know it's very easy to feel defeated when you're down that amount. And uh, the girls just stayed steady. I mean, nobody really panicked. I thought the communication with each other was extremely uh, good this weekend. It was better than it's ever been, in fact. And the girls just kind of picked each other up. Nobody got down on anybody for making errors. It's easy to do that when your outside hitter is tanking. It's easy to point fingers at her, you know, begging her to be better. Um, but I don't think we, you know, I, for the most part, I felt like everybody lifted her up. And, and even though they weren't having their best game, uh, everyone else stepped up. And that's why we were able to pull out a big comeback. And we wouldn't be remiss if we didn't talk about your assistant coaches, the coaches of assistant coaches of the tournament. Talk about the job that they did. Uh, they're okay. They're average. They're average at best. No, they're. They, I mean, as we continue on every single year, um, the, the, we're trying to continue to build the program to another level. And it's great to say, yeah, okay, I'm in the office all day, taking care of this and that. There's no way we're going to get better unless we have the right people in play. And, you know, Coach Allball has been here for a couple of years now and really has been a, a solid per, a contributor. And then bringing on Coach Heath now um, has been a presence that I feel like we've been missing a little bit. So every single year we just continue to, to grow the program and, and adding people like our coaches and, uh, and anybody that's involved with even our administrators and everybody like that. You can see how the girls are doing off the court is now correlating to what they're doing on the court. And it's been fantastic. Everybody's been doing a good job. Like you said, the Spartans, yeah. Lost to Charlotte on Thursday, 3-0, but they came back and beat Bethune and UMES, 3-0. Bodes well for future uh, conference opponents as NSU will get into conference play in just two weeks. This week, though, they're going to be at William & Mary on Tuesday, and they'll be at the Villanova Classic next week in the last regular season tournament of the year. Uh, for all of your information, again, on NSU Volleyball, don't forget to keep checking back at NSUSpartans.com, fueled by Gatorade.